oh my god <laughs> in literally every video i always doubt that i started recording and the one time i don't check is the time that i wasn't recording seriously what are you doing i had about two drinks you know mm. why even wear gloves you're gonna see purple hands i'm just gonna turn purple right now Violet? You're turning violet. Ugh. I'm refreshing my hair color today. Um, and I'm using these guys. I'm using the Joico Color Intensity. These guys. This is in Cobalt Blue and Sapphire Blue. And I'm using Purple Rain by Arctic Fox. And I'm just mixing those all together and popping them in my hair. So now that my hair is fully full of goop, and my hands and sink are completely stained for the next, I don't know, week or so. <laughs> I think I might just set it on for about 45 minutes to an hour and then I'll be back. So I'm back and I refreshed my color. Um, I don't know if you can see it in this light. It's actually like really dark purple. So hours have passed. I was supposed to just work out, shower, come back. Um, that didn't happen. I didn't work out. Um, I did watch Hamilton though. Yeah, <laughs> that's about all I did. Um, it's so good. Um, I just watched it with my sister. I think it's maybe like the third time I've watched it. Um, yeah, it's been like the third time I watched it and it never gets old. It's such a good play. Um, musical, is it, is it considered a play or a musical? Or book. I'm not sure. Musical play? Yeah, let's go with the musical play. But I've never seen it live. I only saw it um, on Disney Plus, but either way, I thought it was really, really good. I, I loved it. Okay, so face is moisturized, and while that settles, I'm gonna pour myself a little bit of wine, okay? This guy, our dog, I've never tried it. This is, it was actually left behind by my friend Celeste. So cheers to you, Celeste, for leaving it behind. <laughs> So I'm just gonna start off by priming my eyelids. So it's actually about 9.30, I believe, as I'm filming this. Um, I started doing my hair, I think, around five. So it's been a while, but I've had about like two drinks, you know? Um, so I'm chilling. So I have this song stuck in my head from uh, Hamilton. My goodness, <laughs> Eliza. If you don't cry every time she sings her like, uh, I don't know what it's called, but she's like talking about like, um, I think she just found out that Hamilton had that like toward affair, which I just like, I looked it up and apparently it was like one of the first scandals or like sexual scandals in American history. I was like, ooh, Hamilton. I don't know man, I just think why he did that, who knows. But yeah, so I was watching it, and whenever she sings that song, oh my god, I just die inside. It's so sad. I can't even, like, imagine being her and, like, not even finding out directly from your husband that, like, you've been cheating, cheated on, but, you know, you find out through this freaking pamphlet that everybody has seen, and you're just like, oh, wow, like, am I the last to know this? Ugh, I think I would rather die than have to go through that. And then in the end, like, I don't want to ruin anything for you guys if you guys haven't watched it and if you don't know anything, like, about it at all. I would just rather not say it, but if you're, if you haven't watched it and you, want, and you have Disney Plus, I highly recommend watching it. The music's just good in general, you know? Like, if you like musicals, I don't think you'll be disappointed by it. I think when it first came, came out, I was a little hesitant to watch it because it didn't, it didn't really appeal to me, but then as soon as I watched it, I was like, oh my God, this is freaking amazing. And now I can't stop watching it. I'm gonna go in with like a warm brown first. Just a little matte warm brown. I'm just gonna start putting that like right on the outer part of my lid, my little teeny tiny lid, because I don't have a big lid space, but right in this outer corner, I'm just gonna start packing it here. 
and then blend it a little bit above my crease and I'm just gonna bring it halfway I'm not gonna bring it in all the way kind of gonna do like a tiny little V out here so I was supposed to go hiking or not hiking. I was supposed to go camping this weekend but things came up and I was not able to go but uh, how I wish I was out in the wilderness, wilderness right now under the stars. I think I'm just like dying for some fresh air, you know, get away from everything. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, but I got work to do too, so. And then I, my daughter starts school Monday, so I think I just need to mentally prepare for that as well, because I definitely am not ready. I'm very nervous. Like I'm, I'm, I'm way more nervous than she is. I'm sure. Like I don't, I don't really think she wants to go to school because, you know, who wants to give up their freedom, right? But um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm like really nervous. I'm gonna go in with like a deep, um, with a darker brown. I'm gonna do the same thing, just with a smaller brush. I think I just really want to go, you know, to the mountains or something. I really miss Colorado. Every time it starts getting like cold out, I just like start aching. It's almost like my body aches to be out in the wilderness, even though my old lady bones start hurting as soon as I start getting cold. But I don't care, it's worth it. I don't think I'll ever tire of Colorado. I think I'll go and every time I'll fall in love with it a little bit more until I finally move out there and never ever ever leave. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going in with that bigger brush and just buffing that out. I'm not picking up any more products. I'm just going right over those edges. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit more now. Just buff buffing what I already have on my eye. I don't have any more product on here, so I'm just kind of like moving that product around and bringing it in. Just so it's a little bit more diffused and not so harsh. I'm just gonna take a little flat brush and I'm gonna pick up more of a neutral shade. And I'm just gonna put that all over the lid little outer V just to soften it a little bit more. And I'm not doing anything too fancy, I'm just buffing that in. And I'm gonna take a little flat definer brush. I'm gonna pick up an even darker brown. I'm not gonna do any black today. Like I want this all very soft and very diffused, but I'm just going to start creating a wing out here. And once I get like onto uh, like the middle of my eye, I kind of just tap on my lash line. I'm not really like going in this way. I feel like this way just helps me kind of just glide right over and make the shape that I want. And then just like tap, tap, tap right on my lash line just to get it as close, get it as close to the lash line as possible. By the way, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm using just like the tip of the, the corner of the brush just to kind of flick it out. You could also use an angled brush. It might be a little bit easier. This is just what I had on hand. And now I'm gonna take an even smaller brush and this one's this one's a little bit round. And I'm gonna use this guy um, just to go over those lines. And you don't have to do this step. I just like to be extra. And I'm really just like smudging it. I'm not doing a lot of blending. I'm just like literally going over those edges just to make it even soft. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more on my crease just because I feel like I'm a little losing a little bit of the intensity there. So I'm picking up just like that medium brown and just doing little soft motions. Just gonna start building that on my crease. I could just do a little bit of spot concealing. I mean, I'm literally gonna wipe this off and go to sleep anyway, so I could, but no, screw it. We're gonna do a full face right now because what else am I gonna do, yeah? So I'm gonna do the usual and get a little bit of moisturizer on the back of my hand, pump a little bit of foundation, I'm just gonna mix that. And so all the songs from Hamilton are gonna be stuck in your head. 
for an entire week. I really want to learn that solo that Elias did. I don't know why I haven't learned it yet. I've been meaning to, and I just haven't. Oh, you know what I should do after this? I might go in and record some, um, what are they called? I might go and record some covers. It's been a while since I recorded any song covers. So I might do that. That sounds fun. I mean, what else am I gonna do with a full face of makeup, right? Okay, so I'm just dragging this down here. Okay, so I have a little story time for you guys. The other day, um, I was sitting at a red light, literally just sitting in my car, and then I just hear like, I feel the car kind of like, you know, jiggle me around and I just hear this scraping and I'm like, oh my God. And like my mirror was pushed in. So I didn't even know what was happening. I was, I was so disoriented. And I feel like I had kind of been kind of out of it to begin with that day. So I wasn't processing what had just happened. And my sister, you know, she was on the passenger side and I was like, dude, what happened? She's like, dude, like we just got hit. I'm like, what? Like, mind you, I'm at a, I'm at a light waiting to turn left. So I'm like, what do you mean someone hit us? Like we're in the lane, we're at, what? So I had to pull over and um, this guy comes on, he's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't have any insurance, it's my buddy's car, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, wow, I was pissed. Like it took me a second to, you know, uh, realize that I had been hit and Oh my god, I was just, why? Like, why? Freaking brand new car had just been fixed from like, well, I guess it's not a new, new car. It's like a new used car, but it's like relatively new. I think it's like, like this year's model. And um, I'm not bragging here, by the way, by any means. It's not a car that I'm like super in love with. It's just the car that I currently have. Anyways, <laughs> so um, yeah, so it had just been repaired from like the previous, um, uh, the previous damage from the past owner. And so I was like, bro, you gotta be kidding. And he was like, I don't know what the hell, like he looked like he was on drugs. He just kept like repeating himself and being like, oh, oh yeah, like, oh dog, like, yeah, like let me take it to my dad's shop, like, you know? <laughs> I'm, that's like probably a terrible impression of him. But in my mind, I, that's how I remember him. And oh i was just so angry and i was trying to collect my emotions because i was like i said i was not feeling it that day it was just one of those things it's like really like on top of everything this had happened to me i was on my way to get coffee i was going to go make myself feel better with like a little bit of coffee therapy no that, that i mean i did get my coffee afterwards but homie like boy like scraped the entire side of my car like on the passenger side it messed up the front of my car, my mirror, my both of my doors. I don't know anything about cars. So the part that, the plastic part or whatever part that's around the tire that was bent into the tire. So it like made a noise every time I like turned or tried to move the car. It was, it was, it was just not good. And I was so annoyed. So me being me, um, of course I procrastinated. So I have not called insurance, but I desperately have to so I can get my car fixed because I've just been using my uh, my dad's car because he's out of town. So I was like, sir, I'm gonna use your car. <laughs> That's just one of the many things that have been like stressing me out these days. But anyway, I swear I have contacts in and I'm still struggling. I have like a mirror right here and I'm still struggling to see myself in the mirror. Like, why am I so blind? So I'm just gonna go ahead and set my under eyes. I'm getting that powder and just putting it right in the center of my face. I'm gonna go in here and just bronze up the face a little bit. This is not a tutorial by any means, by the way. Like, I'm really just doing my, my makeup to just have something to do and kind of talk to you guys about what's been up oh man like too much has been on it's been it's been a rough couple of weeks but it is what it is that's life 
it'll pass. I'm just trying to kind of remind myself of that and like kind of not feel like the world is gonna explode at any second. Do you know what I mean? You probably don't, it's okay, it's okay. So going in the little contour palette and just deepening the contour here. kind of shaping up my nose here. This is gonna be pigmented. I picked up an eyeshadow, so we'll see how that looks as a blush. I don't know what it is. I just think eyeshadows are so much prettier for blush. So, of course, with it being like fall season, I started rewatching Gilmore Girls again, and it just, it's just, it's, I'm just, I'm anxious, you know? I'm getting ready for the season to start. I think, is it really fall if you're not watching Gilmore Girls? I feel like Gilmore Girls and Grey's Anatomy is the one show that I will never tire of watching. Like, it's it's just, it's just so good. So I think I'm gonna go in and bake after all. I'm gonna go in with like a little buffing brush and just go right over that. Taking the little flat definer brush again, I'm just gonna put that all along all around the lower lash line and I'm gonna go all the way in. I'm just going in with the medium brown shade and I'm just going to go right under that. And I'm not trying to be too clean here. I really like puffy eye looks. So I put it right under where like the eye bag is. I mean, if you already look tired, you might as well make it look good. So I'm getting like a neutral brown and I'm just going to kind of go over all of that just to kind of soften it. So you can always go in with a lighter shade like a cream just to kind of go right over that and it'll help just soften the whole thing. So now I'm going to go in with a little teeny brush and pick up a little highlighter and just put that right on the inner corner. And I kind of just do little circular motions just to kind of buff it out. So I'm going to take a little blending brush with no product left on it and just go over everything again just to help diffuse it even more now i'm gonna do my brows um i think i'm gonna go in i usually like going in with a little bit of brow gel just because this kind of um, helps fill the brows and before i set them i'll go in with a pencil just to really fill any areas that i feel need a little filling go just right in the front of the brow just to help define that do a few little strokes right here and then a little bit right over the arch of my brow okay, now i'm going in with the brow gel just to set everything in place want to put on lashes but at the same time I'm like oh, <laughs> so we're almost done here I'm gonna go in with a little bit of lipstick so that is a completed look I really hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I know I, I was kind of all over the place today I'm gonna try to film so get used to it I'm gonna kind of just be all over the place in general because I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I'm just trying to get by in the day. And if you know what I'm talking about, then then that's probably why you're here. Because I'm all over the place. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you.